welcome back guys thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me and definitely excuse the audio guys i don't have my normal software with me i'm on the run but i definitely wanted to get this video out you know i told you i would be bringing you more of these videos and i've been late on them because i've been doing a lot of other things i've been pretty busy but i definitely want to keep this going man you know that quest for more fundamental aspects in madden football hopefully they will show itself in Madden 17. So what we're going to talk about today, guys, we're going to take a look at, you know, the interaction when in terms of run blocking, but more particular, you know, the main area would be with the receivers and how receivers block and how, you know, the defenders get off of the block. So let's go ahead and start the video. We'll take a look at it here. And again, this is with me and my good buddy 757 collaborating, you know, running practice mode here. We're going to focus on let me pause it for a moment right here we're gonna look at Jericho Cotri and Ted Ginn all right so I want you to take a look at these interactions look what's gonna happen here look at that it's almost like you know right now the way it works is they perform more of an ole you know, like a like a matador or whatever. And they're just like, oh, hey, you know, just let them go. What we need to see, and I'm going to go ahead and let it keep running here so you can see Ted again. But what needs to happen, we need to see more of a fight. You know what I mean? It needs to be more of a real struggle. I want to see like right here. Boom. First of all, you know, let's back that up a little bit. Let me back it up here. Oops. Right here. What we need to see take place right here. I want to see some hands reach, you know, reaching out, arms reaching out. You know, it is to me, it's like they're drawn into the animation. You know, it's too simple for me. And I understand, guys, you know, let, let's not kid ourselves. We understand the, you know, the limitations of games and things like that. I mean, you know, what we look for in sports titles is we're, in, we're on a quest for realism to the best of its ability so we understand you know you can't expect a video game to perform like a real life situation but we strive for it to be as close as possible you know we've seen that in football games you see that in madden you see that in mlb the show you see that in fifa you see that in nhl and so on and so on you see games that get real close you know nba 2ks of the world you see it so it's not you know is not like outside of the norm to shoot for these goals you know because you get people sometimes saying it's a video game it ain't never i understand that but you know these games represent themselves very well in terms of you know real close to realism closer than i think any of us ever would have believed 10 years ago so to me what i'm asking for right here again let's run it here you know i want to see these guys reach Ted Ginn should be reaching, you know, his arms are out trying to locate the block as well as William Gay should be already, you know, anticipating the interaction and trying to swim around him or knock his hands down or, you know, grab onto him and push him out of the way or something to that effect instead of just this little interaction here. And then it's almost like it's a timing effect. So, OK, turn him loose now. And as you can see, Ted Ginn, as well as Jared Kokatri, go into the same animation. So this is what I'm talking about. You know, it's the DB and wide out interactions to me is, is more than just when the ball is in the air. I want to see it translate here as well. We need to see more interaction, more activity in this regard, you know, so it doesn't look so stagnant. You know what I mean? And make it look more real and make it feel more organic where these guys are fighting for position. Because let's keep it honest, you know, and I'm going to pause it again right here. You know, you have some receivers in the league that block very well. You know, somebody that just comes to mind right now, you know, there's plenty of guys. But, I, you know, I think about times when you see um, a guy like uh, Des Bryant, you know, being a bigger guy and he's downfield blocking. You know, some of these guys can hold that block for a long time. You know, think about guys like back in the day, like a Hans Ward, you know, the way he was real physical with the blocking and he would go and locate somebody. You know, a Larry Fitzgerald, how well he did last year things like that 
So it's not always going to be that Olay situation as well. Like I said, some DBs anticipate it's coming and they knock their hands down or they push them out of the way or whatever. So we need to see more interaction there. Make it be more realistic. Allow that animation to be more fluid and just more activity in general. So here it is, guys. Just showing it to you here again. And there you have it. All right, guys. So that's going to do it, man. We definitely appreciate your time for watching, guys. Please leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. And like always, don't be afraid to hit that like button. All right, guys. Until next time, let me know what you think. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Fact. The call-in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, lights out.